What is going on guys? How are you all doing? Now, I cannot even say how late this review is for this issue. I mean, this is Spider-Woman issue 4 and issue 5 has already been released. That is how late this review is. But either way, now that issue 5 is out, I cannot review issue 5 before I reviewed issue 4, so... Yeah, I kind of forgot to pick this issue up from the comic shop, mainly because I forgot it and then I didn't go to the comic book store for like two weeks or something, so yeah, that kind of happened, but I've got it now, I've got the issue now, I'm reviewing it, and I'm trying to blitz out as many videos as I can today, maybe not upload them, but I am making them and editing them, so it's a pretty hectic and active day for me with these comic book reviews and all that, so... Before I actually get into the issue, I do want to explain that this issue takes place after the Spider-Verse has ended. I think it takes place either after the Amazing Spider-Man issue 14 or after the Amazing Spider-Man issue 15. But either way, the Spider-Verse has ended. The Inheritors have been, like, you know, put into that, like, vault thing. They've been put in that radiation world. The Inheritors have now gone. So Loom World is now falling apart and Spider-Woman has returned to Loom World to hopefully try and save it. So, without further ado, let's get into the issue. Alright guys, so the issue kicks off with the Spider-Woman from Loom World. She's been relaxing, She's obviously she knows that the Inheritors have now left the world, they have been captured, they've been isolated on Earth 3145 in the Radiation World. So she's been relaxing because she was actually, how you would say, under the boot of the Inheritors, so if she stepped out of line, she would have been killed as well. So she's just been relaxing and living life in, like, you know, she doesn't feel under threat. She can basically do whatever she wants now. And, of course, we go onto the deck of the ship, the main deck, and we have Spider-Gwen. I think that's Spider-Woman from the 616 universe or Spider-Girl, I can't remember. And, of course, we have Silk. And they've pretty much beat up all of the crew because, of course, it's a little bit of a surprise that they're there. But either way, Spider-Woman starts explaining to the Jessica Drew of the Loom World that they beat the Inheritors, they finally won, despite the odds being against them, they won, they lost Spider-Men, they lost universes, they helped universes, but out of everything, they managed to beat the Inheritors, and we have that awesome shot of what looks to be Superior Spider-Man with his Superior Spider-Man Spider arms, but it looks like Ben Riley Spider-Man, I don't know. And of course, the entire montage of that page where it was just like all the Spider-Men scattered around fighting, that was awesome as well. I really love that in this comic. Probably one of my favourite pages out of this entire comic. And as you can see on screen right now, Spider-Woman is explaining to Jessica Drew that she can be the new leader of Loom World. Now that the Inheritors have been defeated, there isn't any order of society. No one's got death hanging over them anymore, so if... They basically got all, everyone's got free will all of a sudden, and that leads to riots and imagine if real life didn't have any laws, so you could basically just kill someone and nothing would happen to you. That is pretty much what's going on, and Spider-Woman is telling Jessica Drew that she needs to bring order to her people, and Jessica Drew is just like, the last thing I will ever do is come back to this city. She's been stuck there with the Inheritors for years on end, the last thing she wants to do is stay there, but of course Spider-Woman is saying that it's pretty much her duty to do so, and it's the right thing to do, etc. And of course we saw there that Spider-Gwen and Silk, and I cannot remember what the other person is. Of course I know who it is, but I can't remember whether her name is Spider-Woman or Spider-Girl. I, I, like, I can't remember what her secret identity name is. But either way, them three are actually on Loom World trying to bring order to it, and as you could see there, Jessica Drew finally stood up to her people, saying that she wants to be the leader and they all accepted her, which is brilliant. And then, now that that's done, Spider-Woman, Silk and I think it's Spider-Girl again, they all finally go home, back to the 616 universe, and we now go over to three days later, where Spider-Woman of the 616 universe is walking into the Avengers Tower or Avengers Headquarters and actually has something to say to Steve Rogers. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't read the Avengers comics, but since when has Steve Rogers been an old man? Is this Captain America Steve Rogers or is this like another Steve Rogers? Can you please leave that in the comment section below? And for those of you that do, let me know. Thank you very much. I thank you in advance because this just baffled my mind. I was... I just didn't understand why he was so old. But, yeah, so... Basically, Spider-Woman 
is trying to say this thing to Steve Rogers. She's trying to get it off her chest. She's trying to explain what's going on. And then this giant monster just breaks free out of nowhere. Like, all of a sudden just goes crazy. I think one thing that I should probably point out about this comic that I haven't said yet is that I think that art is brilliant. I don't know why I've never noticed in a Spider-Woman comic before, like... Obviously, I've mentioned it, but I mean, I never really looked at it, like, really looked at it. And it it reminds me of Spider-Man 2099 artwork, if you get what I mean. Maybe a little bit of The Amazing Spider-Man and Spider-Man 2099 mixed together for me. I have no idea, but either way, this monster just takes out Spider-Woman's best friend, Carol. And Spider-Woman ain't having that. She ain't about that life. And she just goes crazy on this monster and pretty much unleashes, well I wouldn't say unleashes her full power but she basically says enough is enough and ends the fight right there and then and then she just straight out and says it to Steve Rogers, I quit the Avengers. Now I don't know about you guys but I certainly didn't expect this and if you know the Spider-Man, uh, Spider-Man, what? Uh, Spider-Woman comics pretty well, then you'd know that this is a pretty major thing for Spider-Woman, especially because she's been part of the Avengers for a really long time. So for her to quit is obviously going to lead to things like her own secret identity again. She's going to have a fa she's going to be living in an apartment basically. She's going to be going out on dates. She's going to be pretty much living like Peter Parker, you know, with a secret alternate life where she's going to have to get a job and stuff like that. That's going to be interesting to see. And especially in Spider-Woman issue 5, which just released the other day, she also gets a new costume redesign. And it's the first costume redesign in like 30 years or something like that, which is insane. And of course, my review for Spider-Woman issue 5 will be up very soon, hopefully in the next day or few days. But either way, this issue was absolutely brilliant. Just the way it executed with Spider-Woman leaving the Avengers, but also a little bit of a twist, especially with me not knowing that Steve Rogers is old now. Like, what the heck? That was... I did... I, it, I had to stop the comic and be like, why? I had to question myself. It was so weird, but yeah. So I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. I thought it was a brilliant way to have Spider-Woman come out of the Spider-Verse with a new look on life, you know, quitting the Avengers, wanting something different than fighting aliens in space all the time and yeah so let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below but whilst you're doing that make sure you go to the link in the description to my facebook page and what you'll see there are previews for spider-man 2099 issue 10 the amazing spider-man issue 16 miles morales the ultimate spider-man issue 11 and of course spider-woman issue 6 and spider-gwen issue 2 i have previewed all of those and of course, for just comic news in general, just go to my Facebook page and follow that page because it's awesome replying to all you guys and stuff like that, which is brilliant. And make sure you go to my Twitter to find out when I'm actually editing videos. I'll tell you when I'm uploading the videos and stuff like that, which, so you guys can stay updated. And last but not least, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button on this video, along with clicking the like button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Yes,